Hey, good morning everybody, Sarasota Tim, coming to you from Ocean Ridge Hammock Park. This is the free parking lot, and we're gonna to talk to you guys this morning a little bit about some real estate, but first we're gonna walk about a half a block, well actually right next door here where these units that they refurbished that they've been trying to rent for an exorbitant amount of money that are just sitting there vacant because the greedy landlords uh, are trying to make a positive cash flow or because of the high mortgage rates and the high insurance and all these other things, they are uh, just trying to get people to pay it for them rather than just getting what you know fair market value is or what people's pay can afford and they just make the difference. They're just letting it sit like that. This one, this first one I'm gonna show you, I actually believe I talked to the person that's part owner on it and he said they have the first year of deciding to do something that wasn't gonna cost them anything. And so they got a realtor trying to hold out and give them an opportunity to get these high rents of $2,800. But if it doesn't, then they're gonna flip it to selling or doing selling them, selling the units individually instead of renting them. And <laughs> I think they're gonna end up doing that because apparently time is running out. They've been vacant forever. So let me just take you over here and show you what we got. So here we are just uh, next door to that parking lot and it's called Emerald Shore Apartments. As you can see, they are for rent. And what they've done is, uh, they should probably update these windows right here. But this, this place here, they've got them for rent for $2,800 a month, $3,000 a month. They're just one or two bedroom uh, apartments and built in the 50s or something. And uh, they came in, they refurbished them all. I think so we'll just walk right up over here and I'll show you. They do have a little pool, very nice. So it's a nice little place. And then right in here, you can see what we have here is uh, they got pretty nice floors. We will, uh, let's walk right on around here. As you can see, this is what it looks like. And they've come in, they've painted the parking uh, spots, everything. And come on up here, Miss Tammy. We got a pretty good view right here. I love these big windows they put in. Check this out. Come on up close. So this is, uh, Okay, let me show you myself. Let me take the camera. There is the wall. That's as far to the left as this unit goes. It's that little room and this bedroom. This is a one bedroom. And you have a little island kitchen that's kind of part of the living room. But let me see if I can get you to see in there. So there's the front door right over there. Got a big window looking at the pool. Kind of cool. I mean, if the price was right, this was a kind of a bitchin' spot. And look, it's got a nice little closet. It's old, but they've painted everything. And let's see what kind of light fixtures. You got a little LED light on the roof. Here's another one right here. Uh, they've changed the water, uh, uh, the sink thing there uh, to that style. And there's a, looks like a stainless refrigerator. But look, it's a tiny little cubby to stand in there to cook. You see the stove? And there's the bathroom and the one bedroom. So $2,800. And so what is that? You know, $36,000 a year with your utilities to live in that. Now you can walk right across the street and the Atlantic Ocean is over there. So it does have location. But I have to tell you, folks, I don't know how big. Oh, this one here, I guess they're not done. It still has... Uh, yeah, okay, so they're not ready. Maybe they've run out of money <laughs> because they were having some issues. So look, they actually tore a wall down. Let me zoom in there a little bit so we can see. They tore a wall down. They're building it differently inside than what it was. Now look how small that is. Man, what they put the big window in. Sorry about that chainsaw behind me. Every time I want a video, now see these windows are ugly. They're gonna to have to change these. That one's even broken. 
So they're not, I think when they were doing a lot of construction here, I think they, uh, they paused because here's the front door. Now this one's bigger. Look, this one, uh, oh, I see. So they put a wall up right there. Can you see in there? And so this one goes from right there to the left in through there. And we'll go around to the other side. We'll take a look. Here's the bedroom right here. This one looks like it's going to have two bedrooms. And they have totally changed the uh, inside. I so apologize for the, for the, um, yeah, this is Ocean Ridge and the area back here. But now we can see inside one bedroom. Gosh, that darn chainsaw, I'm so sorry. And this is gonna be, I don't know if that's a bedroom or just what it is, but it's very tiny. But the foliage is nice, got a little tiki hut over here. Nice little place. But here's the front door. I know they don't mind me looking in because I could be a prospective client, right? Yeah, so there's two units that they're, uh, I wonder if there's even more that are um, under construction still. But the trucks have stopped coming. I thought it was done. <laughs> but this is the neighborhood that it's in of Ocean Ridge. Uh, these homes here all have water in the uh, backyard. We'll take a short walk over here. Stay with me if you can tolerate that chainsaw. There's usually a big boat parked on that house that's uh, out right now. But you go down through these roads and all of these South Florida homes like this on the uh, intracoastal have these finger canals and they're deep water canals they call it. So if you wanna have a big yacht, uh, it's not gonna hit bottom. It is pretty. Uh, it's called Inlet K. Looking down the canal there at these boats. Got a nice boat right down there, huh? But there's one that's parked here all the time. It's got like four engines on the back. That one down there is like a motorhome on the water. Now these homes are of course all multi-million in the uh, inflationary times and in the 35 percent higher than they should be but if you could live like this it's really a nice way to live so that'll be it for this video we're going to go down to the beach now and i've got a topic that i want to uh, talk to you guys about regarding the real estate market that i've been learning about and um, but this video here, I think definitely crushed it.